a question which is coming up time and time again. Um, Chris, I know that you've done a lot of work in this regard. It is the 221G issue in the Manila U.S. Embassy. Any updates on this issue? Because I know it's something that's obviously worrying a lot of people. There are many people have been stuck. Um, any updates that you can let us know in this regard? Yeah, I mean, I think I have some information. Um, so first, I have seen um, I had seen some rejections around the world with 221Gs. Um, um, I'll talk about Manila in a minute, but for the other other embassies and consulates and posts around the world, I had seen some rejections. Although just this week, uh, my office had an acceptance out of Oman, I think. Uh, which had originally been administratively processed, but has now been moved from, and it was administratively processed for this contract issue that we've all seen. And then miraculously, a few days ago, we received an email uh, saying that the nurse could come into Amman and uh, he would be granted the visa. So that's at least a step in the right direction, although it's Amman, it's not, um, uh, it's not yeah. uh, Manila. With respect to Manila, I have been part of conversations with the U.S. State Department in Washington, D.C. in the last week or so, where they have at least acknowledged that this is a problem that they are looking into. They have also acknowledged that they have been talking to the U.S. CIS service centers in Nebraska and Texas. And the U.S. CIS is, and I'm using their words, informing them um, that maybe this contract issue isn't what Manila thinks it is. So that is also a step in the right direction. Um, I, uh, third point is I do have a number of clients who have decided to go ahead and attempt their interviews in the next two weeks. So I think we will gauge quite a bit there. And then lastly, I have at least one significant client that actually has a federal complaint drafted. Um, now that doesn't mean it's going to be immediately solved, but um, there's at least some of the bigger recruiters and companies that are, um, I think that they are ready to, to, if necessary, sue on this issue. Um, hoping it doesn't come to that, but um, but they're prepared to do it. Okay, interesting. So the good news is that at least there seems to be some movement. I think when this happened, uh, you know, it happened at the um, COVID happened uh, right after that, so nobody was really sure if the issue was resolved or not. But it's good news to hear that at least there has been some progress. Carl or Jacob, do you have any other information or any other feedback just to add to what Chris was, was saying on the 221G issue? I, I, mean, I have this, you know, not too much to add. I mean, we had one case, case from Dubai that was released recently, but I think that was an issue with a, a personal emergency that pushed that case forward. So I don't know if it, you know, but uh, I think, um, you know, Chris is definitely in the, in the forefront of this. So uh, hopefully, you know, things will move forward. Yeah, I know that there's been a lot of work here in the US to, to try and resolve the issue. So hopefully we'll have some good news on that soon.